to another intriguing and captivating edition of the hustle this week tunaangazia mambo talanta je talanta yako inakusaidia kivipi talanta yako unaweza kuifanya vipi kuwe ni bi ambayo unaweza kuitegemea haya basi ungana na mfoni ambapo naenda kutana na kijana mmoja mzee ambaye watu kweli wanafahamu kwa kazi ambayo anaifanya kazi yake ya jizungumzia yenyewe ama ya jiuza yenyewe Moha Graphics is the man of the day Okay mimi jina yangu ni ngumu naitwa Mohamed Kathar Chand Bagatra Mrala Ram Yeye ndiye jina langu full. Ati Mohamed? Mohamed Katar Chan Bagatram Rala Ram. Let's roll. Like a short. <laughs> Moha. Moha. Ili, ilikuwa jina ya mtaani Moha mm -hmm. mimi. Alafu vile nikakuwa mimi mtu napenda kuchora. Mm -hmm. Nikona labda kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe ndo nafanya everything. Yeah. Nikisema acha niite hii kitu mimi nafanya graphics. Mm -hmm. Unajua at that time tukianza mm -hmm. mambo ya graffiti ilikuwa bado watu wajui. Mm -hmm. So ilikuwa mtu anaona kitu nafanya ni graphics. So nikasema tu nishikanishe hiyo Moha na graphics itakuwa mm -hmm. Moha graphics na pole pole ikashika na nashukuru Mungu unajua kila kitu ni Mungu. Yeah, ni yeah. God, ni God. Kila kitu ni God. Na mimi job yangu mimi ni okay, mimi ni mtu nafanya job zote mm -hmm. but passion yangu mimi ni kuchora. Mm -hmm. But nimejifundisha a lot of things in the last like 25 years ya kukuwa na opportunity ya kufanya hii kitu. Mimi ni painter, mimi paint gari zangu zote. Mm -hmm. Mimi ndo ufanya graphics, mimi ndo ufanya mambo ya fiber na nini because kwa workshop yangu I don't deal with peke yake kuchora. Mm -hmm. Nilifanya field yote because I get students, I get young people from everywhere. Yeah. So Mr. Kati ni wafundisha only one type of art because it ilikuwa time kwa life yangu wakati kuchora peke yake ilikuwa hizi nilisha. Ilibidi ni diversify kwa vitu zingine lakini kila kitu ina uhusu gari is a talent a talent that is beautiful when it puts food on your table eh, sasa hapo kwa kulisha eh, na kudepend on vitu zingine biashara gani nyingine uliwahifanya before uanze hii ya uh, graffiti okay mimi nilikuwa nimeandikwa job nilikuwa nafanya kama salesman okay hey, salesman hey, ni so baadaye before that nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya cleaner nilikuwa ah. kampuni nyingine nilikuwa nawafagilia iko tu hapa karibu nilikuwa uh -huh. cleaner kwa store uh -huh. alafu ndo nikaenda kufanya nikakuwa store bado kampuni nyingine mm -hmm. alafu nikaenda the last company nilikuwa kabla niache mm -hmm. nilikuwa salesman nilikuwa tembea na diary mm -hmm. nimechora bado na kuandika contacts mm -hmm. na sasa what pushed you toke kwa hizo makazi kwa sababu kwa hizo mimi spendi mtu kuniende nifanye kitu hata nikiwa shule no one told me to sit down and read mm -hmm. ni mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa napenda kujipush mm -hmm. lakini sasa unajua job ya kuandiko unapushiwa yeah. letter sales ni fanya job like three months day uzata one shilling. Unaona? <laughs> Lakini yeah. mimi naweza sema nashukuru Mungu mm. my, the last boss I had alifariki Mungu amrehemu. Yeye ndo aliniambia mohai kazi unafanya si yako. Wewe pasiu kitu unataka. Mm -hmm. And that day mimi nikatoka nikaenda garage nyingine kwa pale outer mm -hmm. inaitwa cut skill nikasimama kwa get. The rest ni hii sasa. Wow. Sasa hapo mali ulianzia umefika kwa get umesimama. Where did you start? Mimi kitu kubwa na believe in the Lord. I don't know the Lord. I believe in God. Because whatever Mungu amenifanyia kwa life yangu, hata mtu akuje na 10 million haezi kusaidia. Mm -hmm. That day nilienda kusimama kwa hiyo gate. Yeah. Nilikuwa nazipatia courage kuingia ndani kuuliza job. Mm -hmm. But the problem is nilisee the problem that funny thing is when my mama hivi ya mafulani akatokea jamaa wa ICL. Was up here before nikiwa shule nilikuwa nafanya kwa matri because my parents died when i was young so nilikuwa nafanya vitu mbovu nilikuwa naingia nikitoka shule naenda kwa matri na kwa makanga so kuna mdosi fulani nishemfanyia job akaniona akaniambia moha unafanya nini hapa nikamwambia msikizi na chora matri ah akaniambia chora matri na sijui sijawea hata gusa matatu hivi body kushora akaniambia kama mna gari yangu hapa yote ilikuwa tu imagination kwa akili yako unaweza do I think till now mimi na kuogana ile problem sometimes I don't believe naweza fanya when I do it the people tell me it's good because hata hiyo matribu niona nilikuwa na chora na uliza watu kwa sawa every matatu mimi na chora na ulize kusa because muko gana ongofa sio ni kama iko perfect so that time mmoja maka niambia ingia tukaingia ndani 
together. Uwo likuwa mwaka gani? 99 1999 99 huko i think saa kuingia akaanisha matrendi hii saa unajua katizo ma design vitu zile tunafanya sasa hii so niko na tu watu wanafanya hivi niko na mtu anaika tap mwingine anakata sticker uzuri gari likojafikia maana ya kupigwa rangi so i had like two days kuzunguka pale kuna what do people do so mimi kuona niko na can do better because kitu moja mimi naamini mm -hmm. hakuna kitu mimi maisha yangu ishe nishinda. Mhm. Mm so ile kuona hivyo ndio nikaanza hiyo matri but it was not that good because ilifutwa because haikutokea poa. Yeah. Mwenyewe alijam. Mhm. Mm Karibu hata nipige but nasema it was because at that time I, mm -hmm. I didn't give up because mimi nirudi home nikilia nikiambia sister yangu mm -hmm. ile gari limechora imefutwa. Mhm. Mm sister yangu akaniambia eh unajua but at that time mm -hmm ilikuwa ni normal mtu kimaliza shule uandikwe mm -hmm. job yeah. sana sana na waindi uandikwe job na waindi mm -hmm. ufanye job mm -hmm. sasa nikaniambia utarudi huko job nikaambia hapana mm -hmm. so hivyo tu pole pole nikakuwa natembea na bagi yangu naanza mm -hmm. kukatuka kwa magaraji mm -hmm. nashukuru Mungu kapata na mzee fulani hapo California mm -hmm. garage moja ilikuwa inaitwa Intersport mm -hmm. mzee Kabodi akaniambia kuja kuja nakupatia job hapa kule jamaa alikuwa anaeka gatinta hapo nini aliendaga mm -hmm. so ilikuwa kama opportunity nikaingia yeah. so hata sikuanza kuchora immediately mm -hmm. nikakuwa napatiwa job fagia hapa nilete kitu enda kwa duka enda na dereva kwa rangi pole pole tu nikaanza kuget ile feel ya kukua kwa kuwa kuna magari kuwa kuna magari nilikuwa yeah. napenda gari mimi babangu alikuwa mechanic mm -hmm. so nimekuwa na gari kutoka nilikuwa mtoi but mm -hmm. sikuwa ifikiria kuwa iki na mimi sikuanza nikisema itanilisha mm -hmm. mimi nilianza tu kwa sababu sasa acha nifanye kitu napenda yeah. at that time i never knew kuwa passion za kulisha wow and that time no one knew that what you love can pay you the creative sector is globally considered a cornerstone of economic growth with an emphasis on creativity, originality and the abilities of the creative. In Kenya, they spread across different industries such as culture and heritage, design, arts and crafts, literature, music, gaming, radio, television, performing arts, visual arts, architecture, interior design and museums, fashion and technology. To help grow this industry, the government has put in place policy and institutional initiatives. These are laws such as those that protect intellectual property rights, Kenya's national policy on culture and heritage, among others. Despite these regulatory and institutional developments, the creative economy is not fully explored. Sasa hivi watu wameanza kujua hivyo. Yeah. Before wazungu walikuwa wanajua kuwa wananacha talent za watu iwalishe. Mm -hmm. But sisi wa Afrika tumekuwa na shida tunaona ni prototype life. Mm -hmm. Toke shule, university, college, job uandikwe. Mm -hmm. Toka job mm -hmm. endelea na maisha. Yeah. So mimi nikianza ilikuwa tu pole pole. Mm -hmm. Paka Mungu akanisaidia nikachora matri. Basi moja na kumbuka hiyo basi nilichora I think a whole month. Wow, basi ya kwa sasa ya kwanza. Basi ya kwanza. Mm -hmm. Juu hata gari ya kwanza basi mm -hmm. because ile matrini ilichora ikafutwa. Mm -hmm. Sasa basi ilikuwa ina, inachorwa circle moja kubwa. It took me like a whole month. Two weeks thinking how I'm going to draw a whole circle. Wow. But mm -hmm. ideas ikakamu nikafanya. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa poa but si poa vile. Mm -hmm. Sasa ndio pole pole nikuja nikapata ni san fulani. Huyo mm -hmm. chali alikuwa anaipiga rangi alipewa doa kahepa. Mimi saa kwenda pale nikaangukia. Mhm. Mm Kambe una choraga sikuna kona ga pale mali fulani. Mhm. Nikambe eh, akaniambia basi tupatie design. Nilikuwa na kitabu fulani nilikuwa nachora ma design usiku. Nikawapatia mm -hmm. wao hiyo dingo alikuwa waindi. Eh wakaangalia ma design. Eh hizo tu sha fine. Nikambe eh hizo tu sha fine. Igari ziko wapi nikadanganya iko Eldoret sijui nini. Na ziko. So aka decide moja. Sio moja ku decide next morning yake nikaenda nikanua mastika nini nikaifanya and that was the hit hiyo matri ndio matri ya kwanza tuleta zile mguu kubwa nisan tuleta zile mguu kubwa nyuma tukainua ile kwa kunywa maji hiyo gari nakumbuka nikikaa ndani tunaenda town baada nimemaliza watu wanasimama kuna masimu siku hizo ya kamera watu wanasimama kustare wow au nilikuwa natetemeka the whole day 
Mm-hmm. Siku imagine hata inaweza fanya kitu kama hiyo. And that was your breakthrough. That was my breakthrough. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa hapo bado mahali kwa julikani. Mm-hmm. Julikwa bado baada hiyo gari sikupata job nyingine. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa hiyo gari kiingia job mimi nakakitia nyuma. Mm-hmm. Na zingi. Na walikulipa how much? 9000 9000 Yeah time nine k ilikuwa domo yes. ilikuwa pesa kidogo ju 7000 eh. yote ilikuwa material oh. Sasa sikukua kujua sikukua na job kulipisha Yeah Unaona mm. mm. na sikuanza na capital lati ilikuwa na nini mm-hmm. Nikaifanya sana nikakuwa nikika kwa hiyo matri nyuma mm-hmm. The same same person alikuwa alifanya mimi nifanye hii gari Hiyo mm-hmm. garage mtu mwingine tena alipatiwa doa aka 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 hepa Mimi substitute always because I was not the best nikaitwa nafanya matri nyingine lakini ilikuwa private ai ilikuwa South Sea hii nilifanya ilikuwa ICD yeah. South Sea kufanya wewe mwenyewe akaniambia andika jina yako hapa Moha wow. sasa kuandika hiyo jina Moha sasa ndio hapo watu wakaza Moha pole yeah. pole nikafanya gari moja mbili mm-hmm. ikafika time sasa na uliweka Moha na namba yako ya simu ama ilikuwa tu Moha namba ya simu ilikuwa ipo okay. wa enye akuko na simu yeah. simu ilikuwa ya Wados <laughs> Alafu sasa wakati ndio sasa simu zinaingia wakati line inauzwa 2500 na credit ya chini kabisa ilikuwa 250. Mm. Sasa ndio utafordaje? Wezi. <laughs> Wewe ulikuwa pesa una, unapata mm. at least ukishafanya kila kitu unabaki na so mbili so. No, na life ime iko sawa. Na nakwambia there was a time mm-hmm. wakati hakuna job naweza naweza itiwa na mtu job upande ya mlolongo. Mm-hmm iko hapa na simu longo doni huko Kangundo Road mm-hmm. natoka Isili mguu mm-hmm. natembea paka Kangundo Road mm-hmm. naenda kuandika jina ya ba- uh, lori zingine homeland homeland freight na paint brush tapigwa mm-hmm. so na narudi mguu fast forward tufikia mahali Mohamed fika Mohana Julikana almost Kenya nzima worldwide vitu zako ziko huko nje what inspires your creativity walai what inspires me ni kupotrei kitu yani ronyo kitu nimepewa mimi always muwa kuna theme mm-hmm. si work blindly mm-hmm. gari zangu zote it has to have a theme mm-hmm. without a theme i will not work and that one because brain yangu ita register mm-hmm. kitu ni inspire mimi nifanye kitu mm-hmm. ni mtu kwanza kuni believe yeah wana trust kwangu mm-hmm. the moment that shall trust mm-hmm. i can work wonders wow hiyo tu mm-hmm. alafu i just take my earphones niweke mm-hmm. i have my artworks niko na picha na factura ndio hii mm-hmm. design will come i de- mm-hmm. never plan for the design mm-hmm. always muka na customer chini tuna decide on the pictures mm-hmm. on the color mm-hmm. the rest na mbia please niachi mm-hmm. because i don't know even myself yeah. i'm not those kind of guys i draw down what i'm mm-hmm. going to do and kuna fanya hivyo before mm-hmm. but now nimefika mahali i let my creativity work for itself. Yeah. The moment tu nishapiga gari rangi, mhm. Ni upiga gari zangu zote rangi mwenyewe mm-hmm. personally. I nisiweze andika jina Moha Graphics kama sijali upige hiyo gari rangi. Yeah. Mimi gari ni kile tulishapigwa rangi mhm. Ni chore style kama Moha Graphics. Because I don't want to take credit for what I've not done. Mm-hmm. Hata kama nimechore natoka kali nimefanya finish wazimu mm-hmm. but kuna mtu pia alipiga rangi so I will not track that credit. Yeah. Leta mtu andete gari na liko jina designer fulani mnembe mm-hmm. mwanzo kibishia hapa ndio kibishia na start wa hiyo jina. Mm-hmm. I respect integrity. Yeah. And I respect kila mtu. Mm-hmm. Na mimi siwezi chukia designer yoyote yeah. because mimi nimefundisha ma designer wengi. Mm-hmm. Wale ma designer wako kule nje wengi wamekuwa inspired na watu mimi nimekuwa nikifanya. Mm-hmm. Eh, All right, and on no. that note, tunachukua very short commercial break. Yes, the hustle will be right back. a very warm welcome back you're watching the hustle hii ni show ya mwananchi show ya mwananchi sababu hapa ndio tu pale hii ndio base ambapo tunakuletea various business stories ambapo wewe unaweza pata an idea or two jinsi ya kuanzisha na hata pia kuikuza biashara yako leo tuko na moha yani yule mso wa graffiti eh story yake moha sasa umemaliza kuchora ma jobs umemaliza kwenda pale na pale ulifikaje ukasema ati wacha sasa nieke yangu Okay ilikuwa hivi. Mhm. Nilipata simu mm-hmm. kwa jamaa fulani ana matria ya embakasi. Mm-hmm. 
alipigia simu akaniambia moha nataka kuletea gari lakini nataka gari yangu inyoroshwe ipigwe rangi unichore utanipelekea wapi unajua nani anafanyia kazi nikamwambia mimi na mimi niko nachora na kupiga rangi so akanime basi kujia gari nikaenda embakasi nikachukua gari nikaenda nao kwangu home isili nikapaka gari pale nje ya gate nikaenda kutafuta fundi wa kunyorosha fundi wa kusugua na hapo ndo ikaanza nilianzia kwangu home na nilianza na capital ya zero because ile deposit alinipatiaga ndio ilikuwa capital yangu because sikuwa na na machine sikuwa na tools yoyote but ule fundi nilikuwa namuita wa kunyorosha alikuja na tools zake ule wa kusugua akakuja na tools zake machine ya rangi nikakuwa na haya Yo gari nikaifanya poa na shukuru Mungu but nilienda loss ya 3000 because at the time kimaanza kunilipa balance nilikuwa tayari nimechukua vitu mahali kulipa nikakuwa minus 3000 so ikakuwa the next job naanza tena naanza zero so mimi naweza sema nilianza na zero capital but si kitu naweza advise mtu always aanze hivyo because always i think that was a mistake which i did of which sometimes hata inaweza kuvuta nyuma kiasi kwa kibiashara at that time si haikukwati ni kitu kubwa because to me it was a passion nilikuwa mm-hmm. nafanya kitu wala hata nisipopata pesa nasikia raha mm-hmm. but ikafika mahali nikaanza nikakuwa na family nikaanza yeah. kuwa na mtoi mm-hmm. so the thing is at that time mm-hmm. ilibidi nianze nianze kujua kulipisha dinga nianze kujua ku save money because at that time nilikuwa sijipigii rangi yeah. nilikuwa napigiwa rangi mm-hmm. so mimi niko na si mimi i'm good in painting mm-hmm nikaanza kujipaintia nika reduce cost ya kulipa fundi because at yeah. that time nilikuwa tu mtu mdogo napata gari moja mm-hmm. maybe in a whole month naweza fanya hiyo gari maybe nifanye job one week nika three three weeks niko hivyo mm-hmm. so nilikuwa try kuma save as much yeah. pole pole job ikaanza kushika hapo home ikakuwa sasa imeanza kuwa nuisance kwa neighbors yeah. na sasa which year was this yenye umeanza yako ya 2002 sasa nilikuwa naanza kutoa madini unajua wakati hizo nisa zilikuwa zinakuja mpya every mm-hmm. week. Sasa nilikuwa kila wiki gari kali kali kila mahali moha moha. Nilikuwa sisi hata tembea town. Nikitembea town moha. But people at that time mm-hmm. watu walikuwa wanajua ni watu wa matatu. Mm-hmm. Watu personal walikuwa juu ni nani? Mm-hmm. Because at that time mtu ange believe kijana Mwarabu anaweza fanya job kama hii. Mm-hmm. But people never knew background yangu. Mimi yeah. sikuwa tu nimezaliwa family na pesa. Mimi mm-hmm. nimejaribu ku work hard to kitu na, nafanya. Mm-hmm. Wow. Na nashukuru Mungu nikapata garage nyingine hapo section 3. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda nikajenga, nikafanya. Nikakaa hapo almost 15 years. 15 16 years nikakaa huko mm-hmm. ndio sasa nikakuja hapa. Mm-hmm. Hapa niko na 2 years hapa in the solar. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Na yote ni Mungu, yeah. si mimi. Ah sasa uko na hiyo branch iko huko section 3 na uko na hii. Okay pale nimeachia makanika wangu okay. nataka pia yeye yeah, agrow. Vile mimi nilipata wow. opportunity ya yani kuona. Yaani mfungwa tu place ukaachia msingi. Nimeka nao, nimeka nao all those years. Ah, na sasa hapo uko na wafanyikazi wangapi? Kazi umegaanisha kivipi? Okay hapa niko na almost I think 15 to 20 people mm-hmm. working for me. Mm-hmm. But naweza sema kama 5 6 ni ma students mm-hmm. wale they come mm-hmm. na wafundisha okay all of my guys here they were once my students what i mean don mo fundisha kunyorosha kupiga rangi kuchora kila kitu mm-hmm. they were once my students now ni vijana wa mtama tu vijana wa mtama okay there are some kulingana na background yao i i do like charity mm-hmm. but kuna families wengine wanakuja they want to pay mm-hmm. wakinilipa mm-hmm. so unajua bado ina cater for a lot of things yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but kuna wale mulipisha kuna wale Musa idea because in life there some pia wana shida. Yeah. So lazima ni asaidie. Ni sponsor asaidie mimi Mungu atanisaidia. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah. Na sasa kila mtu kazi yake anaingia. Okay, na job sasa hapa iko hivi. Uh-huh. Tuko na departments tofauti. Yeah. Kuna department ya kuna upholstery, malivitis zinatengenezwa. Uh-huh. Kuna watu wa kunyorosha. Uh-huh. Kuna group ya kunyorosha, kuna vijana wa fiber works. Uh-huh. Kuna sisi vijana wa sisi vijana wa rangi na kutora. <laughs> eh, pia niko na wasichana pia wale nafundisha mm. because wengine wameona kufanya kufanya hizi kazi za kawaida let them mm. waingie kwa mm. job. I think hata umewaona. Yeah. Muambi hapa kuna chalia au them kila mtu ni same. Mm. Fanya kazi tujifundishe because kama mimi tungekuwa tunaangalia between chalia na them mimi mm. ni mwarabu singefanya kazi ya garage. Ningekuwa mm. boss. Yeah. But hapa boss 
anakaaga sasa kuna customer sasa challenges gani ambazo umeweza kukutana nazo na pia umezikabilia umekabiliana nazo kivipi okay kwanza kwa upande matatu ni gava bila sometimes tunapatiwa rules nyingi yeah. unatora gari zinafutwa so pande yetu ya art sometimes inakuwa tunakuwa depressed sana hatuna mm-hmm. nafasi ya ku express everything yeah. but nashukuru the president alikuwa wakati alitukubalia mm-hmm. but ndio tulikubalia but bado tukapatiwa limitations mm-hmm. usijaze kwa kio nini yeah. but tunasema tuna work tu na hivyo mm-hmm. but tungependenge kwa kama kitambo we just do our thing because it's yeah. a culture what let me say mimi nimeshaeko paka kwa Forbes magazine kwa sababu ya kutora matatu wewe niambia wao ni New York New York wamejua Kenya na Toronto yeah. uh, their pri- uh, uh, public uh, transport mm-hmm. zinafanywa graffiti mm-hmm. na si illegal ni illegal yeah. okay challenge yeah. nyingine let me tell you the truth mm-hmm. sometimes na ku overwhelm na majukumu Mm-hmm. of which nina ma students wale na wengine na walipia nyumba mm-hmm. na walipia food sometimes you don't have those funds mm-hmm. eh na mara mob tunasema ga, gava ina fa kusaidia youth mm-hmm. but sita kudanganya i don't think the government helps the youth mm-hmm. kuna watu kama sisi tunasaidia youth na hatukui recognized mm-hmm. tunaona tunaoneshi watu ile kazi tunafanya mm-hmm. but the people we help alafu kesho wanaenda kule nje we imagine if i didn't start this mambo ya graffiti vijana wangapi wangekuwa nyumbani kando na wale mimi nimefundisha mm-hmm. kuna wale wenyewe ni artists wanaingia kwa industry wanajaribu vile mimi nilianza mm-hmm. because wengi wakisikia story yangu mm-hmm. they go out to the wake up and go and do it yeah no no so kama mambo ya graffiti ingekuwa hakuna vijana wangapi wangekuwa jobless mm-hmm. uwezi ingekuwa juu because wewe unajua ukiwa kijana unataka kutrai kufanya kila kitu yeah. unataka ufanye kitu u get something in return mm-hmm. na uwezi ndio rahisi mm-hmm. they are very fast Yeah. So your challenge kama hizo za fans na nini. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia unaona kama mimi hapa I pay a lot of very high rent. Mm-hmm. So mimi hata ni kuna wakati nilikuwa na approach wa kubwa na wambi. One tafti mahali mm-hmm. they give me a place because if they give me a place I can take in more students, yeah. be able to take care of them on mm-hmm. a If mimi napata mahali hata mm-hmm. I can set up a place for students yeah. to learn And not even mingle mingling with the customers yeah. tunaweza kuwa na like two three cars pale mm-hmm. zetu mm-hmm. za shule yeah. any anyone in the government watu wanaweza jitolea mm-hmm. mtu akipatie af- af- go down to set up like one section near students mm-hmm. one section near cars wewe tu, tutakuwa tutapata vijana wengi mm-hmm. paka hata watu wa shule because me sometimes school is kifungwa kama sahi wazazi nipigie simu mbona Yeye sasa kijana wangu akae kwako ajifundishe mm-hmm. kabla shule ifungwe because many people know the kind of people person I am. Yeah. Mimi mtu nataka watu wafanye the right thing mm-hmm. because mimi niliteseka wewe na uzi yangu. Mm-hmm. So mimi sipendi kuona mtoto mwingine akiteseka. Mm-hmm. Eh. Haya basi ile siku nzuri yenye moha ametengeneza dog tengeneza amechora magari kama tal- inadau naweza chora magari kama ngapi? Au oh, sora gari mbili. Ni moja gari moja. Au kiasi na wewe umaliza gari moja. Niko mm. zote kutora ni kazi kubwa. Kutora uh-huh. taxi like 3 4 days. Wow. Na sasa ile siku nzuri ama ule wakati mzuri unaweza kuwa umetengeneza kama how much. Na pia ile siku mbaya yenye umekaa ume Okay, ikaza kashesha hapa umerudi home. Manga pia. Unaweza kuambia hivi. Hii uh-huh. job yetu mm. haina gati pesa. Usemeye uh-huh. tutapata pesa fulani siku fulani. Uh-huh. Sometimes unaweza ka a whole week ujona ndururu. Mm-hmm. Alafu next week ndo kuletea gari ya kupata deposit ya 20 30 so tuna tile a daily budget kwa hiyo job yetu mm-hmm. because the moment you utasema una get a daily budget like this whole week miss mm-hmm. hakuna customer amekuja mpya au nini mm-hmm. so i'm still working on those cars niko nazo yeah. so wezi say wezi kwa nile exact but maybe mwisho wa mwezi unaweza sema umelipa rent 200000 umelipa stima so wezi kosa kama 300 500,000 at the end of the month but up with expenses. Na sasa you are mode of marketing. Kama sasa hisa ushabo bea umejulikana. What is your best means of marketing yenye imekuwa kia? My best means of marketing ni ya kwanza. I do a very good job. I try and do my best kind of job. Wow. Sometimes hata siyeki jina moha kwa gari. Mm-hmm. Kama recently I think I don't even put moha. Mm-hmm. I try and work so hard on one car it okay perfect ki enda engine and let job tano wow alafu another thing niko na instagram na WhatsApp, na facebook so mu post whatever i do so the only way to market kazi mzuri 
mtandao at least weka mm-hmm. tag some people who you work for them mm-hmm. kwa kama nimefanyia watu wa watu wanajivikana jivikana this pia na ni boost kidogo nikiwa yeah. nimefanyia mtu kama DJ Mo huyu wa eh, bwana size 8 mm-hmm. nimefanyia eh, Rashid Abdalla au watu unawafanyia at least una appreciate watu kama hao kuku, kukuona wewe yeah. that's a blessing unajua mm, na pia umefanya money heist yenye na feel nafa kwenda international yeah. ifikie hao ma producers unajua only zote ni kwa ukweli mhm watoto wangu ma business zangu mm. unasikia mtu hey, money heist money hey, 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 hey. <laughs> kuna customer amekuja hapo huyo mwenyewe gari akaniambia niaje mimi unasikia money heist nikamwambia eh hey, ushaiona eh hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nataka tuchore gari. Nikwambia uko kwa serious. Aka nime nataka uchore gari. Tunaongea na yeye. Eh eh. Niki research. Nikwambia hata niko na picha moja hiyo nisha download. Nikwambia si ni hawa. Eh. Hawa ni la mse. So hivyo tunajua. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na nashukuru Mungu hiyo gari nilimwambia nili wewe ni believe na no, usiniambie anything. Mm. Paka masks ni uli uli, uli chore. Eh? Tulichore. Eh. Kwa sababu ya nini? Mm-hmm. Mtu akikutrust please return a fare. Mm-hmm. Yaani wewe rudish. Unajua kila siku si jua ile pesa. Mm-hmm. Ile pesa utapewa hata sasa hivi nikupatia 100,000. Mm-hmm. Wallahi siku mbili unazaimaliza. But mm-hmm. wallahi ukibuild trust na ukabuild friendship na mtu it will last forever. Mm-hmm. Biashara yako ni talent yako. Ni kitu ambacho kiko ndani yako. Sasa kuna ule kijana mwenye amemaliza chuo ama yeye hana do amepitia life kaya yako but you say yako na passion there's something in him or her yenye ana ana feel anaweza bring out akapata the right person to go to alafu kuna ule pia mwingine mwenye eh nishamaliza nga shule but hana do ya kuendelea na pia kuna huyu mwingine mwenye mimi nangoja kazi ofisi mimi siwezi fanya hivi ni masile queens sijui nini nini na pia kuna wale wameketi wanasema ah Kenya mna kazi sijui afanye nini waanzie wapi advice mseka huyu mwenye hana hope na ule pia mwingine mwenye hamna lake nilisikia saying flani ya waluya wao uh-huh. ni mluya best yangu aliniambia uh-huh. yani ukikaa chini utakula tu chini yani uh-huh. you sit down hauta hauta ikula kitu yote ya juu utakula tu vitu ziko chini uh-huh. mimi naweza sema ni perfect example kuwa passion mm-hmm. na whatever you you love will, will itakulisha mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa mtu mmoja very nilikuwa very nilikuwa naogopa taku when my mother used to be wakati alikuwa alive nilikuwa naogopa taku fagia nilikuwa mtu kama useless mm-hmm. so mimi always nilikuwa nafikiria nikiwa mtu hii nilikuwa nashanga mimi like to go in life mm-hmm. then Mungu akachukua mamangu na babangu kunionesha nao utatoboa yeah hiyo kutoboa nilifanya nini kitu nilikuwa napenda niliijaribu kuifanya mm-hmm. na mimi kuifanya wala ilianza kunilipa mm-hmm. so mimi nazambia vijana sasa hii kila mtu anaenda kazi nataka kazi hakuna mm-hmm. nataka hii hakuna mm-hmm. what do you do mm-hmm. think of what you can do yeah. mtaani watu wanapenda nini kdf enda kwa bakery itisha KDF anza kuzungusha hiyo kuzungusha kwa KDF ndio mm. kuja ku the right person ule atakutoa atakupatia breakthrough yeah. haya basi let's look at a business anyone can conveniently put up car wash business did you know that over 7500 new vehicles are introduced on Kenyan roads every month well that's according to the Kenya Bureau of Statistics but how do you tap into the car wash business and smile your way to the bank this is how identify an open space or yard by the roadside identify your source of water have soap or detergent oil for shine buckets and water pipes brushes as well as hand towels determine price according to services offered save and as you grow you can add a lounge area with drinks and snacks for your customers haya basi kutoka kwangu tabika mutoni na mimi moha graphics endelea kuangalia the hustle au sio yeah and see you again next week